Nirvana And I change clothes like my hoes I love designer And I change my flows like who knows I want the commas I'm guessing from the title and the thumbnail, you guys are already coming to kick my ass and crucify me for the blasphemy that is saying that there is someone that could actually be stronger than Gojo. But, but before you do that, hear me out because I have evidence and facts that will support my claim showing that Gojo may in fact not be the strongest. So stick around till the end of the video, like and subscribe, click that notification bell and get ready for a great video guys. So in episode 11, season two, Seance, they resurrect Toji Fushiguro, who's a very interesting character that was just introduced in the beginning of season two he's well he's not re necessarily resurrected but he is maybe his abilities and his body is resurrected through the strange powers of ogami and she utilizes the curse technique called seance the shibuya arc is so lit because they are putting a lot of powerful curse users into play and it it makes so much sense that toji fushiguro gets resurrected because honestly he may be the strongest if not the strongest curse user in the whole show so it's interesting that they resurrect him as this arc is you know starting to heat up and also with gojo being gone that makes things even more interesting because he was the only one to even get close to defeating gojo so now that he's back in the mix that puts the evil bad guys in a very good position and the jujutsu high sorcerers are actually in a deficit as of right now but let's talk about what makes toji so powerful for starters he's a master weapon specialist he also is has enhanced senses as well as immense strength and immense speed and reflexes honestly as far as the show goes he probably has the greatest physical powers of the whole show and you know how i feel about that when you have the best physical powers in the whole show it's kind of hard to be matched like think of the raikage in naruto or tsunade in naruto you know how formidable they were just because they were powerful or might die or you know just to move forward all might in my hero academia he's literally the strongest because of his physical powers his powers aren't even too complicated they're just i'm stronger than you they're before I beat you. And then one more example I would like to give would probably be, like I always say, Yami in Black Clover is probably the physically most dominant in the whole show. And this is very important. Now, my biggest case for Toji being probably the strongest curse user in all of Jujutsu Kaisen would be the fact that he literally has zero curse energy. And we're gonna get into that later. So make sure you like and subscribe as we can see on this video if you're enjoying it. But to be someone with no curse energy at all and be able to give Gojo the literal strongest and run for his money says a lot about his powers and abilities he's also a great tactician with great tactical intellect which allows him to plan ahead and to beat people at their own game he's playing chess and a lot of these sorcerers are playing checkers this is why he's able to defeat some of the greatest sorcerers on top of this let's not forget to mention that toji is also a former member of the zenin clan but he spurred them for this very reason because he had no curse energy and they treated him like dog shit so because of that he decided to disown his family and he took his his wife's name instead but it's still very notable to mention that he is one of the members of the main three clans meaning he'd be very formidable and very powerful we have to mention maki zenin in this case as well because she also was hated by the zenin clan because she had little curse energy but toji is a special case because he has no curse energy at all this is like unheard of in the jujutsu world but this aided him in his defeating powerful jujutsu sorcerers because him having no curse energy makes it undetectable to most sorcerers the only one I was even able to detect him was a young Gojo. A young Gojo because he had the Limitless and the Six Eyes technique. The reason for Toji having no Curse Energy is actually called Heavenly Restriction. There has been characters with Heavenly Restrictions in the past. However, never has there been a case where the Heavenly Restriction completely erased all of his Curse Energy. This Heavenly Restriction in turn granted him immense physical prowess because he has no curse energy so his five senses are hiding to their physical peak imagine like a jujutsu kaisen batman but you know on drugs because it's anime so he's super fast super powerful super strong and he can detect and interact with curses easily just because his senses are at their peak he just really has no curse energy at all now let's get into his cool tools and gadgets because he's the batman of jujutsu kaisen and this is what allows him to be an assassin and defeat some of the most powerful curse users even our favorite satoru gojo Toji developed a master server relationship with an inventory curse that allowed him to store other curses inside of that curse. And what makes it even better is that curse can then shrink and Toji can put it
it in his body, making it undetectable because when it's inside of his body, with as someone with no curse energy, it, the curse now becomes indetectable. And with that curse, he can carry other curses as well with him. So that makes him immensely powerful because he has basically a whole gadget or tool belt, toolkit stored within his body. It's portable, easy, and easy to go. He can take it anywhere. Now we have to break down his tools because his curse tools are fucking cool. And that rhymed. But we're going to start off first with the split soul katana. This is his primary curse tool and he uses it for the majority of most of his fights. And what makes this katana so cool is that it cuts directly at the soul, meaning that it bypasses physical toughness. You can be as strong as you want, but this split soul katana is cutting your soul directly. So that's very fire and very useful against cursed users. Not to mention that the tool is worth 500 million yen. So that's pretty cool. You guys can do the math on that. Pretty expensive. Next, we have the inverted spear of heaven. This is about the only weapon I know that can actually almost bypass the limitless technique where, you know, no one can even touch Gojo, but it does this by nullifying curse techniques on contact. So you know how powerful that is? Literally whatever curse technique is powerful as it might be, it gets nullified by this. We're not going to go into the details of that, but just know it's wicked powerful and this definitely put stop Gojo in his tracks. We also have the chain of a thousand miles. It's a mysterious curse tool that basically it keeps extending as long as the user doesn't allow the back of the weapon to be shown. Now told you such a smart guy that he literally just hides the back end of the chain in his cursed inventory spirit's mouth. So literally that means that it can extend for as long as it wants because he's smart enough to do that. He was then smart enough to connect the inverted spear of heaven to the chain of a thousand miles, creating a curse tool that is super long range and that can nullify all curse techniques. So that's super powerful, super OP guys. Finally, we have the playful cloud, which in my opinion is probably one of the weaker technique weapons. However, you know, this is the technique that we see that um, Maki using all the time. Originally, it was Toji's, but somehow Maki acquired it being in the Zenin clan. And uh, coupled with his amazing, incredible physical strength, he also sharpens the playful cloud and it becomes a deadly stabbing weapon. So it doesn't have as much of the crazy abilities of the other curse technique tools, but it's still very powerful. The most important part to notice about Toji is that he also isn't afraid to go against the grain. He uses a normal katana, a small combat knife, and he even is, has propensity to use handguns to get the job done, which is good because using weapons that have no curse energy are undetectable by cursed users. So that gives him an edge against most other jujutsu sorcerers or cursed user fighters. So that's what makes him so interesting as a character because you know he's kind of like the best of both worlds and he shows how his handicap actually makes him more powerful than most or if not all of the characters in the show well i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown definitely leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about this and what you think about my thoughts because you know i know there's going to be a lot of conjecture and battle over me saying that he's actually the strongest jujutsu sorcerer even though he has no cursed energy but also i have a video coming out on gojo and his limitless techniques and the six eyes because i think it's so cool how the mangaka created that and made him the strongest but you know until next time guys remember to leave a like comment subscribe share with a friend and as always find your zen your final form i'll see you next time guys and i change clothes like my hoes i love designer and i change my flows like who knows i want